possession. Work. It's not this. The fallen angels take over the life force. Okay. And that the one of the fallen angels overshadows you. Gets into your aura. And it's true what they say. The devil has no power over you but what you give him. What he does is uh, the, de- the demon uh, enters into your aura. And it's not like he can reveal things from the spirit world to you. He has to. He has to communicate to us with what the person he's possessing already knows. So he'll say things that. So he'll say, it's like split personality disorder. A fallen angel causes such trauma, overwhelms you with such trauma, which. With, with your own trauma, whatever ghost or skeleton you got in your closet, and it gives him a life of their own. A split personality, so to speak, that has his own name. So, the person is demon possessed, and he says, My name is Baronus. It's not that there's a demon out there named Baronus. It's that, that fallen angel out there is so controlling this human being as such is in the driver's seat so to speak and it creates a split personality in this human being and through that split through that split personality you the old you, 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 the human being, old skeleton that goes through this trauma and traumas, controls the human being. As if it is another person. If it is, if it is, it is that demon named Bronus. It's the fallen angel. There is no the demon named Bronus in the illusion. The fallen angel is behind it all. We say, say, what about the demon that demon named Legion cast out the man that went into the pigs and they're, and, de- and they're not real demons. How did that happen? Well, the energy of the R. When the fallen angel combined with your, gets in your R, he is able to pass on. He and you working together. Okay. A psychic energy, a non energy in your aura. What happened was that all that energy in the man's aura went into the pigs. And the uh, fallen angel was able to do that energy to oppress the pigs. And the pigs didn't want any of it. They ran into the sea with choke. Some say that. The demons are the evil spirits, are the definite, are the hybrid, angelic hybrids in the time of Noah, where angels, demons came down and procreated men and created a race of super beings. Same, so, some say those are where the evil spirits are. That's what the book of Phoenix says. I disagree. Let's say we have a Let's say we have so many people, human beings. What if we get so many human beings that, uh, that the devil runs out of demons to control each, uh, the oppressive person? One, one evil, one fallen angel can be possession more than one person at a time. If, if you have to have one demon, per, one person possessed, then, or 
if he had to have one demon, one fallen angel per person, then why the world would, would, would it be possible that all those people who outnumber the demons be able to be simultaneously oppressed by demons? So either what I said is true, or there's the demon possession of the delusion is all human technology. Human technology. And besides, the story about angel and hybrid, I'm not so sure it can really happen. No, 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 no. no. Demonic entities are non entities. That is, they're illusions. They're, they have all the elements of personality, but they are not a real person. They're definitely less energized by the fallen angel that's entering in, in, in the heart of the human being. Now, there's a possibility. I believe in Dr. George C. Ritchie's experience. Disembodied human beings who don't go to heaven who are trapped in this astral, astral plane can enter, enter in your heart. Now, how does the evil spirit enter, enter in your heart? You got to give them ground. And it opens the op an opening of your heart. Your heart is your. Is a, Part of you that connects you to the spirit world and the physical world. In the physical world, it's energy, it's electromagnetic state. That's what it is. That's your lesson in demonology today, tonight. I hope I'm right.